Good evening. Good evening. Good to be back in the house of the Lord. And, uh, you know, I sit back there a lot of times and, uh, and while I'm waiting to get up or waiting for somebody else to get up, and I get to thinking as they sing the songs and, and uh, the things that they uh, mean to me and wonderful words of life. And, uh, you know, the words of Jesus, uh, he is the words of life. And uh, seems like I've studied on that uh, quite a bit uh, this afternoon. And we're not going to take uh, a lot of time with just talking, so uh, if you have your Bibles tonight, uh, turn with us to the Gospel according to St. John in the 18th chapter. <clears throat> now, as you uh, turn to that, and while you're turning to it, you might uh, realize that when you get down to about the 18th chapter of the Gospel according to uh, St. John, you're getting down to uh, uh, almost to the end of the ministry of uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that uh, whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And he goes on to say that uh, God didn't come and, uh, down here to uh, uh, condemn uh, anybody, but he came down here to uh, give life. I believe he said there in one place, and he said that, uh, don't think that uh, I'll judge you. He said there's one, he's speaking to the Jews, and they had a lot of trust and a lot of confidence uh, uh, in Moses. And he said, there's one that judge you, uh, even Moses, in, in whom you trust. And we realize today that uh, Jesus had uh, taught a lot of things that where the whole world uh, can be saved. And I'd say that uh, all of the people around in this community and everyone that could possibly uh, get to this church over the years, they, they've heard enough. Uh, in the house of God that uh, they could be saved. And yet, uh, there's many of them today that's not. And that's the way that it was uh, uh, in this time when uh, Jesus had done preached and he had done taught uh, everything that he needed to teach. And now there was only one thing else uh, to do, and that was to uh, pay the sin debt uh, for each and every one of us that we might have life, and that we might have it uh, more abundantly. But Jesus had uh, a lot of enemies uh, here. And we're going to read just uh, a little bit, not too much about uh, his enemies there, but it does uh, show up. So in the, I believe about, let me see where I want to start at. Twenty-ninth verse. And Pilate then went out unto them and said, What accusation bring ye against this man? And they answered and said unto him, If he were not a malefactor, we would not have delivered him up unto thee. And then said Pilate unto them, Take ye him, and judge him according to your law. And the Jews therefore said unto him, It is not lawful for us to put any man to death that the saying of Jesus might be fulfilled, which he spake, signifying what death he should die. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again, and called Jesus, and said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? And Jesus answered him, Sayest thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell it thee of me? And Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and chief priests have delivered thee unto me, what hast thou done? And Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then were my servants fight, that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from them. And Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? And Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world that I should bear witness unto the truth. Every one that is of the truth heareth my voice. And Pilate said unto him, What is truth? That's all that we want to read uh, here tonight. And I want you to think about it for just a few minutes and 
about what Jesus said uh, here and just about the last words that uh, that he said, uh, being here, he had a few more things to say after the resurrection, but up to his death he didn't have uh, too much more to say. But he made a statement here, he said that my kingdom is not of this world, but he said that uh, he came to bear witness uh, unto the truth. And what is truth today? Uh, and I looked it up in the dictionary uh, one time, and it said, uh, fact. Uh, the truth is uh, uh, the fact of the matter, and we hear a lot of things today, and I'm sure that uh, back in that day, uh, there's a lot of ideas, and, and there's a lot of people uh, telling a lot of things. That, and in the synagogues there, when uh, Jesus came, uh, just at a very young age, uh, he was found there uh, by his mother and his father, if you'll remember, and he was sitting there in the synagogue uh, uh, asking questions and I uh, am confounding uh, the people there with uh, uh, the knowledge uh, that he had. And yet he didn't have uh, uh, all of the knowledge that uh, he is going to have because uh, uh, the scripture said that uh, he grew uh, in wisdom and knowledge uh, uh, of things that and the Bible tells us today that, uh, that what is true and the Bible says, let God be true, I am every man a liar, uh, as it is written. And I'm assuming today that uh, back in that day that uh, they had teachers, that uh, they had the scribes and the Pharisees, uh, and they had the Sadducees, uh, and maybe one is teaching a little bit of this, uh, and another is teaching uh, a little bit of that, uh, but the biggest thing uh, is this teaching uh, in the synagogues uh, uh, back in that time, uh, I was a very little uh, uh, about love uh, and a whole lot uh, about hate uh, because Jesus, uh, uh, when he uh, uh, went into the synagogue there, uh, uh, he began uh, uh, to call uh, uh, the teachers uh, uh, and these people that I uh, was in the synagogues. Uh, uh, he said, you're a uh, uh, blind guy. Uh, and he said that uh, uh, you're hypocrites. Uh, uh, he said, you're just like uh, uh, white and sepulchers. Uh, uh, he said, on the outside, uh, uh, he said, you're beautiful. Uh, but on the inside, uh, uh, you're full of uh, uh, dead men's bones. Uh, I said you like to go out to the marketplace and he said you like to pray up long prayers but to the disciples he said when you pray he said don't be like how the scribes in the Pharisees who think that they'll be heard over their much speaking but he said enter thou in the
the devil has all you want, hey, hey, you'll do. Right. Right. And these were the ones, hey, all the best that I can read, hey, I, I don't find, hey, all that the world out here, hey, I was a giving, hey, hey, Jesus a hard time, hey, I can't read about, hey, all the woman, hey, all that the well, hey, that Jesus, hey, I've met man, hey, I've changed him in his trouble, hey, I've been he spoke, hey, I've been the hair, hey, I've been older, hey, I've some of the sins there, hey, I've been simply said, hey, uh, I perceive, hey, that it's your prophet, hey, and a little bit later, hey, uh, she went into the city, hey, and began to say, hey, uh, come see the man, hey, always told me, hey, everything I ever done, hey, if not this, hey, all the Christ, hey, uh, she wasn't talking, hey, how much trouble, hey, all of these cheap trees, hey, and high trees, hey, and all these, hey, uh, they was the ones, hey, all this wanting him, hey, uh, dead, hey, this wanting him put out, hey, and this wanting him crucified, hey, and they went, hey, under Pilate, hey, how to get this thing done. <laughs> now they got part of it done. <laughs> Didn't get it all done, <laughs> All hey, uh, Jesus said, hey, uh, here to Pilate, hey, uh, Pilate Marvel, hey, oh, yeah, this man, hey, uh, called Jesus, hey, and he said, are you a king, hey, and he, Jesus said, hey, uh, say it this, hey, of my own self, hey, or the other, hey, uh, tell it, hey, uh, see me, hey, and ask, hey, I thought about that, hey, a little bit, hey, oh, yeah, Jesus, hey, a king today, hey, oh, in your life, hey, or did somebody else, hey, I just tell you, hey, oh, that he was, hey, 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 all that Jesus, hey, uh, here, hey, all the poor, hey, up out of hey, are you king, hey, and he said, thou sayest, hey, oh, that I'm king, hey, that I'm kingdom, hey, oh, it's not in this world, hey, I come to bear witness, hey, uh, under the truth, hey, and everyone, hey, oh, they hear it, hey, oh, my voice, hey, oh, it's all the truth, hey, and today, hey, if we can hear, hey, oh, the voice, hey, oh, the Son of God, hey, oh, damn, hey, oh, in our hearts today, hey, oh, we walk, hey, oh, like brothers, hey, and we walk, hey, oh, like sisters, hey, and you wouldn't have, hey, a thousand different, hey, of denominations, hey, and you wouldn't have, hey, of so many people, hey, around and about, hey, of trying to tell you, hey, oh, it's this way, hey, and it's that way, hey, it would only be, hey, uh, one way today, hey, and that would be, hey, uh, Jesus, hey, oh, in his way, hey, oh, I think about, hey, all the apostles there, hey, all they seem like, hey, all you didn't have, hey, a lot of understanding, hey, about a lot of things, hey, but today, hey, all of Pentecost, hey, all when, hey, all the Holy Ghost, hey, all was giving there, hey, all they had in an upper room, hey, in one mind, hey, all in one accord, hey, and the middle of the Holy Ghost, hey, up came in, hey, oh, like a mighty, hey, a rushing wind, hey, and it began, hey, all the land on them, hey, and it laid again, hey, out of speaking tongues, hey, and it poked around, hey, that some of them, hey, that took the call, hey, of the Holy Ghost, hey, all was given, hey, I didn't mean, hey, oh, they all got it, hey, oh, because some of them said, hey, that these men, hey, are drunk, hey, and they, hey, oh, why, hey, oh, maybe listen to them, hey, but King King Peter, hey, and he began to rise up, hey, and he began, hey, oh, to preach, hey, and he got bold, hey, and he began to preach, hey, of Jesus, hey, and the resurrection. <laughs> he began to be a whole lot more obedient than he was before, hey, he didn't run and hide, hey, uh, like he had hey, uh, there in time past. Hey, and he began to go out. Hey, and he began to preach. Hey, they took him hey, up for bearing witness. Up hey, uh, there into the truth. Hey, I was at the world. Hey, no, it's the church again. Hey, oh, that cold Peter. Hey, I am put 
like it ain't, ain't much and sometimes it kind of seems like you're the only one there that I can find where the Lord said to Elijah and he felt like he was the only one left. Sometimes you feel alone. Right. Yeah, you're 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 right. Yeah,
there and let me see truth. And I hear so many things and watch so many things and see so many things in church. And, and uh, folks say, I'll serve the Lord if I can do it to cowboy boots. <laughs> I'll do it if I can, if I can drive my motorcycle into the, into the church. And uh, we'll be fine blows if you can do it. That's not the truth, is it? <laughs> It's not the truth. And that's the way going to come in God's way. The only way I ever found that you can come God's way is when you just throw in yourself. And that's the way it was when I got saved. I know those men were going to a revival. I don't think too much about preaching. I don't know a lot about the I don't know And when I started praying, I didn't say, Lord... Uh, if I can do this or if I can do that or whatever, then I'll get saved. And I don't remember saying anything like that. I remember saying, Lord, if you'll forgive me, I'll do anything. I realized that I was just mad that God forgave me. And when people realized that they had just seen it all and what they are today, if the scribes and the Pharisees and the rulers of the world had seen it all, if the, if the scribes and the Pharisees and the rulers of them churches would realize what they want and realize who they were standing in front of, they'd have been a whole lot different Amen. than what he was. But you know, the Bible said there in one place, later when John, many of the rulers, this they knew that they knew to be practically your life and just to them, they have to give up on some of their power, I guess, and give up their leadership roles and take time to the back seat. I realized a long time ago, I was kind of on the back seat, and I'm still on the back seat. <laughs> and I figured that, that everyone that I meet is greater than I am, not very smart, and not very intelligent, but I know who Jesus is. And I know when I get in trouble, I know I just saw him to him. So if I can't just make it easy, and I've got to justify the things that maybe I've done, and maybe the things that I've thought, and all these adulteries going on all over the world today. It's okay, but it ain't okay in here. Uh, and this is this is what I take as a as a guide to what that Jesus said when he said I come to bear witness unto the truth. Where did I get that? I got that right out of here. So that's what I take it that he said. I realized he had all the knowledge. When I read that all adulterers and all fornicators and all lies and all thieves, and all these things have their part in their fire, and I'd rather be God's way. I want the truth. And, and you've got a little bit of education to know where to get, and that's right out of here. I have as much attention to uh, everybody maybe as I once used to. I kind of figured that they said they were Christian and knew something about this place. But they, a lot of them doesn't know it. A lot of these didn't know it either. I used to hear people, well, I love reading them in the scriptures about uh, Joseph, uh, a man that uh, just absolutely amazes me. Every time he was just a young, young boy with so much knowledge and understanding and things like that. I'm sure he wondered what in the world would happen to him and his mother sold him down into bondage and stuff. And I'm sure maybe he was a little angry, maybe at times. And probably shed an awful lot of tears. I read about a lot of tears in his head. But there's an understanding a little bit later that went on when his brothers, when their brothers felt like that their life was just gone. Yeah. And what they've done to him. That human system is evil. But God in this is understood. A deadly man. And it seems like everybody liked him because he was just a deadly man. Jacob, a man with troubles and sorrows and all that, and wrapped with God all night long, looking for strength and looking for help, that only to him to God. Remember reading the scripture, so I read that scripture out of what we do for each night and what we want to do. I kind of think that I read in that place where it says that God was their own God. You know, there's a lot of folks today that their day was their own God. And their ideas and, and the things that they can kind of uh, uh, drum up or hatch up is what Jesus is today. <laughs> I remember reading the scriptures where Paul said <laughs> that if uh, one comes to you and preaches another Jesus, <laughs> then he will not preach you, he not will preach you. I was intended to one Jesus. <laughs> and to be able 
say what Jesus said, you got to say what Jesus said. And which is that Jesus said, I'm sure that uh, uh, folks say that uh, Jesus just trying to make himself a big reputation. But he said, I didn't come to tell you anything because myself. He said, I come to tell you what my father said for me to tell you. He said, me and my father, he said, my father loves me. And he said, I love my father. He said, the father is better than I am. And I didn't come to tell you And if you everything that you need to make this journey successful and to make it joyful, there's a difference between joy and happiness, you know. Yeah. Happiness is kind of tied to uh, an event that's happening right now. And I'll tell you, joy is an event that can last you something you know tonight. You can tell you, wait, 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 hurricanes and no hurricanes, and whatever else happens. Jesus is coming. Right. Right. Jesus right. made that point. All through the scriptures, all through and many others preach the same thing. The times are coming when Jesus is coming. He can come for you tonight as maybe as an individual, and one day he's coming for the whole world. And when he comes, he's going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ, and he's going to give him a count. Because the deeds done in the body, both good and evil. And you can tell your children that this thing's so bad and one thing is maybe worse than another. And all of these things, they form a safety, not mad, getting married, saying it's all right. And, and homosexuals in the church saying it's all right. Just go right ahead and breathe. And all of the other things that's going on, and you tell them it's all right, and they say, well, it's better than being alone, or all of them kind of things. I'm telling you what the scripture calls things in fornication. And uh, that's not being married. Relationships without being married. Adultery. Relationships after being married. And uh, these things, in every place talks about damnation. Is right, and them two Jews is the head of the earth. Right. And we're in a world today, and children, a lot of them have one that she just blew a while back. And asked me that if I'd be her daddy. And I didn't know too much about the situation then. I learned a little bit more about a little bit later. She didn't know who that her daddy was. And she needed a daddy. She needed a real daddy, not mine. And to tell you today, it's thousands and thousands. Well, it's okay. That's not true. Jesus said, I come to bear witness unto the truth. And everyone that's of the truth, here's my boy. I've met some of them along the way. And uh, not as many, I guess, as I wanted to be. But I met many of them on some circle of them along the way. And they is part of God. Because uh, they walk in a godly way. And they're faith so that godly is in them. And everything that they've done was godly answers. You never can do them. And if you're always just wanting to be up and lift up, asking somebody to come to church, telling them about Jesus. And that's what we need to be a doing today. Don't follow the ways of Jesus. They had a lot of religion and no salvation. And without salvation, that's all this religion. I got to maybe one of the best religious stories you ever seen before I got saved. I kind of had an idea to do the best that you could. And uh, it wasn't kind of holding anything back. And you just did the best that you could do that. And I tell you, you found out later. You can do the best that you know how, and you still don't need to. Yeah, right. He's the only one that can get us through. Pilate, he went and washed his hands of the whole matter, and he said that, let this uh, man's blood be on you, and uh, the Jews said, let this man's blood be on my hands, and I want to kill him, and I guess it is, <laughs> and the good death is on my hands too, because <laughs> right. I have sins in my life, this death and crucifixion is on your life too, <laughs> because you had a part in the pain, <laughs> sin, God, hey, 
coming from our left foot. And talk about all the mercy of God that you want to. He's got a lot of mercy. And I can also find in there there's no mercy to show, no mercy given. And just because he got it doesn't mean that he's going to give it to us. Just simply to say, Lord, I'm sorry for what I've done. And then go out and do the same. I found in the past that I was sorry. There was a huge issue. And I wasn't really sorry. Then it was just a little bit less than that. And I don't know where God is. It's got the word and blinds us on all those things. But I know he knows that too. That's a friend on the tonight. What about you tonight? Are you all the truth? Or are you just kind of a, a, somewhere in the middle? Religious? I believe that Jesus is the Christ. So does the devil. We know he's the Lord. You're the Christ. You're the Son of God. So that ain't going to get you free. Just knowing that he's the Christ. I knew that when I was five years old. Mom taught me that. Dad taught me that. I said, I'm praying. Well, all you got to do is pray. I've done that when I was five years old. Too. I've done that when I was a teenager. I've done that when I was in the country. It was some kind of an agony. It's kind of like a rabbit foot around the neck. It'll give you just a little bit of hope of, of a little bit of luck. But I was still lost. Take a little bit more than just pray. What it's going to take is for you to commit yourself to God. And then what it's going to take is for the Lord to help you commit yourself to God. And then when it comes together, all I'm going to tell you is going to be something going on in your heart. And I think it's called the Christian Media. And when I begin to pray, some will say that It'll, you get saved as soon as you accept it. I accepted it the first second of the prayer. <laughs> he didn't accept it enough until late the next afternoon. So I prayed all night long. <laughs> and I prayed all day long. <laughs> and when he forgave me, I know a little bit about the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I know a little bit about the, the peace and the contentment. That came down in my heart. I want to know that. That I was forgiven. What was the next thing that come? I had to tell somebody. And it wasn't but about 30 yards from that for the first one. And then when I went to work the next day, every one in the middle. I told him I got saved. The first thing that I got to do, you think you can live? And the answer I give, <laughs> and so that's been 20 some years ago. And I'm going to tell you that I haven't failed the Lord because I have. I'm going to tell you that I haven't had to learn some things. Some things are given to me right there on the spot. The love of God and the love of people came right on the spot. But other things, it takes some work. Kind of like patience. <laughs> And tribulations were the patient. <laughs> and I had quite a few tribulations. But all of them made me the end today. <laughs> and you might say, well, <laughs> well that ain't much. <laughs> but it's better than it was. <laughs> and it still got just a little bit and maybe ways to go. <laughs> and learned some things. <laughs> I can read in the scriptures and and uh, see what some of them mean now when I just read over them, didn't have no idea what to be a thing. <laughs> so it's kind of a growing process, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of like being born again and growing up all over. <laughs> but there is a difference. <laughs> if you haven't had that difference in, in your life, maybe somebody like to come to you. Tell me what to do. Maybe play just as I am. I remember watching, they show me when you watch maybe and uh, I remember every time that uh, there was a little girl and she stayed on TV and uh, mom was listening to it. He'd get into a big way of preaching and I'd get into a big way and want to get out of the house. <laughs> and uh, but one thing I want to come to the preaching is all of the message and come to the preaching. And you're always saying, this is your house. And then they start. Why?
Zion, just as I am. That song, that just, I, I, that get up, I got hungry at that time. That little kid can get something in the system or something. Keep from having to hear, just as I am. So some way or nothing, it reached down into my heart. Would you like to come and play tonight? Thank you. 